Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to revisit the uh, fused glass topic. This had it was pretty popular before, and uh, based upon all the comments and everything, I wanted to try something else. And what I wanted to try is instead of going real slow at high power, I wanted to try going really, really fast and try to dissipate the heat. Uh, quicker allow it to dissipate the heat at a lower power and then use more passes to uh, facilitate that also so you can kind of see in the corner I've got a couple test pieces up in the corner um, in laser draw both a circle and a square I'm going to do these at about uh, 300 um, millimeters a minute pass so it's going to be pretty fast uh, I'm going to probably go at about 10 milliamps and I'm also going to do some thermal imaging of the cutting as it's taken place. So um, I've got everything set up, so let's go ahead and start cutting and see what happens. Well, we made a little bit of headway. I'm just looking for the infrared thermometer. Trying to get a reading off this. See what this glass temperature is. So, actually the glass temperature doesn't... S yeah, I'm reading almost 200 degrees on the glass temperature. Not sure if that's coming out about once about 180 degrees on the glass temperature um, let's see see if I can get a, a the uh, FLIR camera sort of run down on battery see if I can get a quick insert video but um, from the FLIR image that you can now see, uh, you can see how hot that is. Um, this is probably about 40 some passes. Okay, we're back. So we took a, a look at cutting this on laser, attempting to, and we saw it eventually cracked after approximately 40 passes. And I want to take a little bit deeper look at this. So one of the things, again, I want to come back and I want to measure this. So I've got the micrometer here. To kind of give you guys an idea how thick this this glass is. So we're at about 3.11 millimeters thick. And one of the things, as you can see in the upper corner, I have it under the USB microscope. And one of the pieces here, as you can see, is that it cracked along the lines of where it was cutting. So one of the interesting things might be is, is I think this could be effective is if you want to actually etch the glass to break it, I think it would do well. But now, one of the big things I want to show is I'm going to take take this one piece aside, and I'm going to have to refocus the microscope here in a second. But I'm going to turn it on edge because one of the pieces that I want to do is kind of show the depth of the actual trough that was cut by the laser. And actually, this is a little bit interesting. So you can you can see the trough here and so the trough only goes oh you know a very small portion into the into the glass in retrospect you know I'm, I'm not even sure it makes it quarter the way through after about 40 passes also I'm not sure if you can see I'm gonna see how I can get it on the the actual video but if you notice the glass beneath I don't know if I can get my finger in here the glass beneath the the trough is is really not even affected. So one of the things, if you if you remember back to the thermal imaging that I did, is this thing is wicking away the heat very rapidly from the uh, the site. So what's happening is it's 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 being too thermally conductive, and I think just wicking the heat away, not allowing it to really melt 
uh, the glass or vaporize the glass where need be. So uh, you can see a little bit of burning and melting in here, which is interesting, but the trough is pretty uniform. Also, the trough, trough width, I'll spit that out, is kind of interesting. So again, one of the things I wanted to do in this is um, there, were, there were a couple uh, saying if I have a cool down period. Now, maybe if I gave it like a several minute cool down period between uh, each pass, um, I, I might be able to get further. Now, I did this on the newer um, laser, the new K, newer K40, and I used laser draw, and which is not G-code based. So I really can't control it. It's just, you know, uh, a vector type representation that the machine burns in. Uh, my other laser, which is G-code based, I don't have set up right now, so I can't test it quite with that. I think in the near future what I might do is just do that and, and have it do a cut, put a day, delay loop in for a minute, do a cut, because I, I simply can't stand there for an hour timing a minute and pushing a button, timing a minute, pushing a button. Uh, but I think I will give that a try programmatically and see if that does uh, anything different. But, you know, one of the things that's just very clear here that... Uh, you know, cutting glass or anything that's, that appears to be relatively thermally conductive is going to be uh, difficult with a laser because the, the piece with, the, with acrylic or plastic, uh, when we go to cut it, it's not going to wick away the heat. It's going to locally absorb the heat, vaporize, and leave the cut. However, again, this is very interesting looking at it this close up. And again, how it kind of cracks along, cracked along the... Uh, the way part of the black is I tried cleaning it out with a black pen uh, so that's really not burn marks or anything but you can you can see here that where it shattered it actually shattered along the line which which makes sense so anyways wanted to share this with you guys and if you have more comments leave them down below because again from your last comments I wanted to try doing a little bit differently so uh, I did lower power I did 10 milliamps uh, at about, I, I set it for 50 passes, I think I got through 40, because to be frank, I thought I would get through all 50, so I didn't bother to count them. Uh, but about 40, 35, 40 passes, and, and the glass absorbed enough heat. You can kind of see that in, in the FLIR image. So, anyways, um, just another attempt, another piece of experimentation. So if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you'd like to see more on this. Again, when I get the uh, G-Code laser set back up, I'm going to try it over a much longer period of time. Uh, but anyways, hey, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.